Awesome. Thank you very, very much. Okay. So hello, everyone again. Welcome to this amazing live session. My name is Carla Plasencia, and I will be the moderator from for this session. So I see that everyone is super active on the chat. Thank you so, so much. Now I'm going to um, pass the, the virtual microphone to Francesca so we can start with the introductions and the presentation. Thank you to our presenters for being here today and let's begin. Thank you, Carla, and uh, thank you everyone uh, for, um, for being present to this webinar. My name is Francesca Desta and I work for the Student Recruitment Office uh, in Politecnico di Milano. And uh, today here we have uh, a lot of people um, who will present the university, so you will be able to talk to uh, our professors and our students here at Politecnico. So let's start by uh, sharing our presentation. So I would like to, here it is, our presentation. Uh, uh, what is Politecnico di Milano first? So Politecnico di Milano is one of the most renowned universities in Italy uh, with a long tradition uh, dating back to 1863. Politecnico means technical university in Italy, so we focus on three fields of studies, architecture, design and engineering. And the University Politecnico di Milano is a reference point, point in these fields, uh, in the academia world and in the company's world also. The University Politecnico di Milano was established and is located, is uh, mainly uh, located in the city of Milan. Milan is uh, uh, considered the, the financial and economic capital of our country. Uh, it is a cosmopolitan city with an international atmosphere. Um, is a mix uh, of history and modern uh, atmosphere, and it is also a student city, meaning that we host a student coming from several um, several countries and other regions of, of Italy. So it's a very dynamic city overall. Politecnico is a large university, is the largest actually um, as a technical university in Italy, and uh, it has seven campuses. So we have two main campuses located in the city of Milan, uh, and other five campuses located um, on average of one hour uh, by car from, from the city of Milan. Uh, so it, it's a large university and these cities were selected for their particular relevance in certain fields. Uh, so today we will have a look at Piacenza campus also that hosts uh, our program in architectural design. So let's spend some words on Piacenza itself. So Piacenza is situated uh, seven, uh, around 70 kilometers south of Milan. Uh, it's a smaller uh, reality compared to Milan itself, but it's a very important city as well in Italy. Uh, nowadays, but also back, to ta to back in the day. It was established many, many centuries ago by the Romans with the aim to please its inhabitants. In fact, the word derives from uh, the Latin verb placere, plas that means to please. Uh, here you see a picture uh, of the symbol, of the city symbol, uh, which is uh, the so-called Gothic palace. And uh, uh, this is the Piazza Cavalli with uh, two uh, large um, st equestrian statues. So it's uh, um, an historical site, an important historical site, but also a business and production center in Italy. And here you see the main sectors. So we have mechanical and energy engineering sectors, but also the sustainable architecture and landscape design sectors. Uh, the, the campus in Piacenza, so we have a uh, campus in Piacenza, uh, 
his program, its programs are linked with the territory, as I was mentioning a few slides before. And in this campus, in our Piacenza campus, we host the different programs, and especially we host the program uh, of architectural design uh, taught in English. The campus was established in 1997. Uh, it's seven, around 7,000 square meters um, big, and it's located close to the city center and close to the train station. So it, it has a very good location in the city. Uh, Politecnico di Milano is also a research university. Um, in fact, uh, it is uh, the first university in Italy for projects founded by the European Commission. And uh, our university strongly benefits from cutting edge um, laboratories. Uh, here you have two examples of our largest laboratories at Politecnico di Milano. But another strength of our university is internationalization. So we have students coming from a lot of different countries, more than one, uh, 120 countries enrolled in Politecnico di Milano. And this uh, provides our students with the possibility to really um, meet people from all over the world, uh, exchange ideas, exchange uh, ways of uh, seeing the world. And it's a very important uh, added value of our university. Along with the international students, we also have international faculty. So you will be able also to meet professors coming from uh, several countries. And all these factors, so considering a uh, reputation, the location of the campus, um, the, um, the research relevance uh, and the laboratory and internationalization, all these factors contribute in the reputation of the university. And Politecnico has an excellent reputation. So we are first university in Italy fifth world best university in the design field, 10th in the architecture field, and 13th in the engineering field, according to the QS World University Ranking, that is one of the most uh, popular and important university rankings. Politecnico is also a member of alliances among the best world universities. Here you have uh, two examples, but there are many alliances and projects with uh, uh, other uh, world important universities. Briefly, how does it work in Italy? So we have our uh, university system is based on three levels. We have a first level called the laurea and lasting three years, corresponding to the Bachelor of Science in the British system. We have a second level of uh, university studies called laurea magistrale. Uh, corresponding to the Master of Science, and the third level of university studies for those who wish to continue with their academic path, which is the Doctorato di Ricerca, the uh, PhD program. So this is the structure of the university system in Italy. Politecnico di Milano offers a number of English taught programs. Uh, so we have two programs at bachelor level. One of these is architectural design. We have many programs at master level and all the PhD programs um, taught in English uh, at uh, the last level of university studies. So we, we have many programs uh, taught in English available for uh, international students. How much is studying at Politecnico di Milano? So all students um, pay uh, the same amount, which, uh, which is between 900 euros and 3,900 euros per year on the basis of the family income. Um, this is valid for all our bachelor programs. Here you have also an idea of the cost of living in Piacenza, um, which are around um, 700 euros per month, including accommodation, food, and social life, etc. Uh, while at Milan, costs are slightly um, higher due to the fact that it, it is a larger city, uh, and, and so 
you, you will spend around uh, eight to 900 euros per month. Politecnico di Milano offers several services to its students. So we are very well prepared on the welcoming of our international students with the welcome activities before the classes start. We have a body program, uh, which allows you to uh, to have a body before coming to Politecnico, a student or lady enrolled in Politecnico. We have sports facilities, the university accommodation, uh, Italian language courses. So there are many possibilities and also, I'm sorry, the students association and campus, uh, cultural campus events. Uh, so our students really can join, uh, enjoy a lot of uh, activities uh, and opportunities in Politecnico di Milano. And one of the import, most important services of our university is the career service. So it's the office uh, acting as a bridge between the students' world and the, um, and the company's world, providing with uh, our students with career uh, guidance. Uh, so companies come on campus to meet our students. We have job fairs as well. We have workshops uh, uh, and many internship and job opportunities published uh, weekly on, on the website. So the career service is very active on um, supporting our students for their future uh, placement. And we have uh, extremely high employability um, data. So our international alumni employ, uh, find an employment within one year are 82% of our graduates. And of these students, 51% decide to remain in Italy for their first job experience. So it means that uh, there are many students who um, really um, enjoy their time in Italy. So if you want to know more about the career opportunities offered to our students, I suggest you to visit our career service website, so careerservice.polimi.it. And, uh, well, I leave you with the, our uh, website. You can scan these QR codes in order to visit our website. Uh, the Piacenza campus um, website, where you can find specific information uh, on life uh, in Piacenza. The Milano life uh, area is in our website, in our main website, polimi.it slash English. And you can also contact us by scanning this QR code. Uh, thank you for your attention so far, and now I leave the floor to my colleague Alessandra for the uh, application and entrance test. Thank Hi. you. Thank you, Francesca. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. I'm uh, Alessandra uh, Balestreri. Uh, I work at the International uh, Students' Office for Leonardo and uh, Bovisa Campus. And today I'm here in order to introduce uh, the administrative uh, uh, procedure to uh, register in a bachelor and uh, to give you some useful information regarding the architecture admission test. So we can start with uh, my presentation. Um, the first uh, requirements uh, necessary in order to register in an Italian university if you have a foreign degree uh, is uh, you need 12 years of schooling. So uh, uh, some additional requirements are requests if you have an AB degree or a British or an American high school degree. For example, if you obtain at the end of your studies a British degree, you need three E-levels promotion. Or for the American high school degree, you need three APs promotion. Also, if you completed of at least two years abroad the first students who started their studies in Italy. And, uh, and then uh, other requirements necessary in order to enroll uh, in an Italian university uh, are the documents who attested the validity of your high school degree. 
obviously we don't ask these uh, uh, documents uh, uh, before uh, or during the registration in the admission test just uh, if you pass the admission test you have to submit uh, this uh, the final the final diploma of uh, secondary studies and uh, also the declaration of value or in alternative the CIMIA statement of comparability so um, we consider uh, the uh, the students or we divide the students uh, in uh, two different categories the first are the student considered as Italian or equivalent and we consider in this category the students with Italian or European nationality with a foreign degree obviously and the students of all nationality with an Italian degree or non-EU students residing in Italy with a valid residence permit. The second category uh, considered for the registration in the test are the non-EU students residing abroad and uh, mm, it is the international students who need uh, a visa for st a study visa in order to come here in Italy to start uh, their career. How you can register? The first step you have to do uh, is the registration on our uh, online services um, in order to receive the credential to access on your personal page. When you have this credential, you have to enter on your personal account and click on the link laurea equivalent to bachelor of science and five year single cycle programs to in order to register to the, to the admission test. In fact, uh, it is still available uh, the different kind of uh, admission test for the, the courses of engineering, design or uh, architecture. You have to choose the admission test of architecture and then uh, complete the registration with the test payment. Uh, the ARCAD admission test uh, will take place on uh, July 27. The registration for the admission test uh, it is already open and uh, will be closed on July 18. The registration to the ARCAD test must be completed on Politecnico di Binano website. Uh, the test uh, will be uh, delivered remotely on CISIA website. The day of the test, uh, you must uh, connect uh, to the CISIA website in order to take the test and uh, ten, 10 dates uh, almost after your registration in the test, you will receive on your personal email, uh, an email from CISIA with the instruction for the day of the test. And uh, the admission test uh, uh, will be provided in Italian and in English language. So in order to recap, you have to register in the online services on the, Poly on the Politecnico di Milano website. Uh, you have to enter in the link for the test registration. During the registration, you can choose the language of the test, Italian or English. You have to indicate the study courses you are interested in, and you can express a maximum of six preferences. And you have time to change uh, your preference uh, with, until uh, July 18, that it is the last day. Um, after that, uh, you have to pay the, uh, the admission test and the cost is 30 euros. Uh, the test content. ARCAD test consists of 50 questions with five answer options. And the sections of the test are text comprehension, logical reasoning, knowledge acquired in studies, history and general culture, 
drawing and representation, and physics and maths. This is uh, the main part of ARCAD test. At the end of uh, uh, this section, um, will be provided on CISIA website the test of English language because for the Politecnico di Milano it is mandatory that all the students registered in a bachelor degree um, submit this part of English test. Any, in any case, don't worry because uh, this uh, test, this English section test, uh, will be not considered in the final score. And in any case, if you want to register in a course teach totally in English language, you need to submit also a valid English language certificate. The score to pass the test, the maximum score a student can get is uh, 60 in accord with the following criteria. One um, comma five points for uh, any correct answer. For each wrong answer, uh, you receive a minus o, uh, comma four points and zero point for each not given answer. The registration procedure and the deadline. Um, after the test, uh, the first ranking will be published on August 1st. And uh, in the first, uh, you have time to complete the enrollment if you are eligible from 1st to 4th of August. The second ranking will be published uh, on 8th of August. And you have time if you are eligible to enroll from 8th to 11th of August. And uh, this is the final ranking for the non-EU students. For Italian or equivalent students uh, uh, will be another uh, ranking, the third ranking from 23 to 26 of August. Sorry for there is a mistake in the slide. Is a, the correct date is the 26 of August. Your position in the ranking. Um, the 1st of August will be published on Polytechnico website, the final ranking, and also you can uh, be check your position from your online services in the same page where you complete the registration for the test. And uh, um, in the ranking, uh, you can be assigned, and uh, that means you can enroll in your first choice, Reserved, the enrollment is possible, but not in your first choice, but in one of the other courses indicated during the registration process. So you can decide or to enroll in the reserved course or to express your interest to be considered in the following ranking. Otherwise, if your position is pending, the enrollment is not possible. You are not eligible in any choices uh, expressed during the registration procedure. And you can, uh, if you want uh, still be considered in the following ranking, you have, you have to express your, your interest on the uh, Polymi website. As I told before, uh, if you want to register in a English, uh, in a course teach totally in English language, you need a valid English language certificate. The English language certificate accepted from Polytechnico are the TOEFL CBT, the TOEFL IBT, TOEFL PBT, TOEIC, IELTS, Trinity College, and Cambridge. You have, you have time to submit the correct English language certification uh, within the end of your first year. So from uh, the students who want a role in a course teaching English, in English must has um, to provide uh, Italian language knowledge before getting the degree. And you can provide your Italian knowledge with uh, or one of the uh, accepted certificate like CELI, CHILS, or PLIDA, 
or otherwise uh, you can participate a uh, an Italian language courses provided from uh, the school uh, affiliated with the Politecnico. Also, uh, how you can contact us? I, I leave my presentation with the link where you can find the, the uh, contact of International Students Office. You can uh, chat uh, with us, you can write to us an assistance request, or if you prefer, you can book an appointment and we can uh, provide uh, an appointment, obviously not in presence, but online. So thank you very much. I, I finished my presentation and now I leave the floor to Professor Cocchiarella for the architecture uh, school presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alessandra, for giving the stage. Uh, hello, everyone. I hope you can hear me. I'm Luigi Cocchiarella, I'm the Deputy Coordinator of the English track of the Bachelor Program in Architectural Design. And today we will present the Architectural Design in Piacenza. The delegate for this bachelor course is Professor Giulia Setti. Giulia Setti, you can see here. Say hello. Okay. Well, we are part of the School of Architecture, uh, which is a big school. Uh, it was born in 1865, merging art studies with engineering and so creating a promising program which led us to be first in italy 15th in europe and 10th in the world according to the last ranking we have invited several important personalities uh, to be engaged as teachers and to some others we have offered the opportunity to graduate uh, with an honorary degree in the first group, you can see here Kazuyo Sejima and uh, Eduardo Suto de Mura. They both are Pritzker Prize. You know that Pritzker Prize for architects is the equivalent of the Nobel Prize for scientists. So they are really excellent designers in architecture. And honorary degree uh, have been uh, delivered to Alvaro Siza and Jasmine Lari recently. This is our study path. As it has been already said, we have three levels, Bachelor of Science, which is the one uh, for which you are applying now. After that, it lasts three years. After these three years, you can apply for the Master of Science. And when you graduate, you can finally apply if you want in one of our PhD programs activated at Politecnico di Milano. This picture shows the overall educational offer of the School of Architecture, Urban Planning and Construction Engineering. The points you see on the big circles, they represent the master degree we offer. Uh, some of them are taught in Italian, some in English, some in both the languages. In the small circle, you will see the bachelor program and in the yellow, point you see the position of our bachelor program in architectural design and the lines represents the connection it means that uh, attending our bachelor when you graduate you can attend any or uh, almost all the programs we offer at our school uh, which and also at an international level in other universities offers other master programs in architecture so i recommend you to take care of this slide if possible you can also take a snapshot it would be good for you to have a memory of this. The complexity of the transformation of the city uh, implies that we have to provide special trainings uh, to our students, uh, combining tradition and innovation in order to make them competitive at any level uh, in the professional life. What is relevant in the architectural curriculum is the combination between cultural awareness and technical competence. We don't want just uh, people uh, skilled in terms of humanities, but we don't want people skills in terms of technical skills. We have to uh, combine these two sides of our, let's say, uh, cultural environment in order to have good architects. And in fact, the architects, they take care of several aspects of our uh, environment. Uh, Architecture is not only about the single building. Architecture is about the whole environment around us. One of the most beautiful definitions of architecture I remember is that of William Morris who stated that architecture is every transformation of the terrestrial surface in order to provide spaces for the human beings. It means that 
all the scales are included there. In fact, there are architects dedicated to design the landscape, be it natural, artificial, or agricultural landscape, or to design the city, which is the most complex system where um, infrastructure, nature, architecture, and the communities they meet. Uh, especially in Italy, we are very sensitive to design the design of the preservation because we have a lot of uh, cultural heritage to protect and of course we take care of the innovation uh, one of the last trends we have in the last decades is the design of the open spaces uh, which is making our cities and our public spaces very beautiful and of course it is important to focus on the interior space we know how much important interior space are and we had this experience during the COVID spread that's the reason why, since architect has to deal to, with so many aspects, uh, since the Renaissance, uh, Leon Battista Alberti said that architects must have cognition of the greatest and most excellent things, mastering them profoundly. And after 500 years, Renzo Piano said that the profession of architecture is one of the, is a kind of adventure profession on the frontier between art and science and memory and innovation. Uh, looking back to the last hundred years, we see great uh, transformations in the profession of an architect and our school try to uh, be up to date on this. The school is organized uh, about theoretical lectures and also um, a communication and workshop between, between students and professors. So we have a theoretical part and you see in the EP picture on the left, you see Luis Isador Khan. And we also have workshop where the students uh, develop their project and they work side by side with the professors uh, or on this. In order to monitor the activities, we have a peer committee made up, made up of five teachers and five students. Their task is to monitor the educational offer, to formulate proposals, uh, let's say, uh, to monitor that everything is going on well between in the relationship between Do students one. and uh, professors. Okay, maybe someone has the microphone on. Uh, our program includes uh, theoretical teachings. You can see on the right the long list of so many different topics. And uh, I think that architecture is one of the most articulated in this uh, in this case you see there are several different topics several different disciplines and in no other uh, university course you can find so many different uh, aspects and the knowledge they converge in the know-how in the studios where the application of the knowledge takes place in the project going back to the mm, to the description of the program in the first year we offer mostly the theoretical courses and the students start developing simple projects on uh, based on simple composition of spaces and you can see here the teaching prospectus of the first year in the table you see the line above is about the first semester and the line below is about the second semester those in the black uh, frame uh, they are the studios the studios combine together more than one professor in this case two and we have the architectural design studio dedicated to the project lasting one year differently from other courses which are uh, which are, they are uh, only the duration of a at a duration of one semester and we have another integrated course of mathematics and we have in the second semester the urban planning studio all the other rectangles they are theoretical courses, normal courses, let's say. These are some of the educational results from the first year. You see very simple project. In the second year, we conclude the cycle of the theoretical knowledge and we start entering the details of construction and technology. And in fact, as you can see, we have two big studios. One is annual architectural design studio two, and the, the other is um, in the second semester. Both them are dedicated to the technical construction of architecture supported by the other courses you can see in the other boxes and in fact the results they show more technical developments of the project they are more close to the realization while in the first year they are just concept in the second year they become closer and closer to the work 
um, to, the, to the project site, let's say. In the third year, students are completely mature to develop a project from the beginning to the end, including economical evaluation and structural um, calculation. And in fact, the third year is strongly based on studios. We have two studios in the first semester, and we have a final design studio in the second semester. The final design studio is very interesting because we have several final design studios. They are different from one another. They group together three professors. In fact, you can see three boxes uh, with a colored background. And uh, according to specific topics, they are final design studios which are more dedicated to technology, other we are more dedicated to preservation, may the other maybe about um, history or something like this. So at the end, students in the third year, they can choose uh, their um, favorite final design studio, which could also be of inspiration for developing the final thesis, which is the conclusion of the process. You see here results from the third year, and you see they are more independent, they are, let's say, not standard projects. In addition, students, they have the right to choose one elective teaching. We have a long list of elective courses. They are uh, specialized courses. They cannot be included in the official program, but students can attend. Uh, we go from archaeoastronomy to parametric CAD. Uh, we have many of them, and you can see it on our educational offer webpage. A special point is about the modeling. Physical modeling uh, is a really important activity in order to make our students space sensitive since the control of space is a relevant aspect in the profession of an architect. I think I lost my... Okay, thank you. Uh, from one side, physical modeling, but from the other side, we also are pursuing innovation by means of digital modeling. Uh, from two years ago on, we provided this uh, DigiSkill problem which is a space representation in digital environment. It is dedicated to the digital literacy. Uh, we put emphasis on the fact that the digital environment implies the uh, needs to integrate several software in a unitary process uh, leading to a project. The conclusion of the educational path is with the internship. The internship is a practical activity that can be carried out in a professional studio outside university or maybe uh, behind the backstage of a professor. Uh, it could be an academic internship. And the final thesis is the very end of the process. Students have to prepare a critical essay with a supervisor or maybe a thematic portfolio independently. And this document is to be discussed in the final uh, session. So summing up, we consider our educational process as a bridge, uh, leading you from the admission to the graduation, where courses work as pillars and the studios, they represent the path in between these courses, leading you to uh, your professional uh, aptitude to design spaces. Of course, uh, you have the possibility to uh, have Erasmus exchange during the three years. Uh, normally, the slot is six months uh, long, but some students, they can also extend this, and some of them could also develop the thesis abroad. About professional opportunities, uh, graduate in the in architectural design studio in this bachelor program, they can register on the in the junior section of the architectural register and based on the presidential degree of 2001 they can be in charge for the design construction management supervision supervision and measurement accounting and settlement of simple civil constructions with the use of standardized methodology so you can be an independent professional but of course if you want to become a full architect you need to apply for the master course this is the website of our um, bachelor program i recommend you and i put the link in the in the chat i recommend you to visit it and especially to click on this button with the icon milano piacenza mantova because apart from the official frame of the banner if you click on these uh, buttons on these uh, buttons you can discover the work gallery you can see the project that the students developed real projects uh, of students who have passed the exam 
more general information can be found on polioriente.me it is an italian web page but we also have uh, another web page whose name is poll international where you can find other interesting uh, um, information in uh, english just to give you a picture how this the community web communication is organized at Politecnico di Milano. It is a kind of system of Chinese boxes. You see, we have our bachelor program, which is a web page of our school, which is a web page of the uh, Politecnico website, and all the relevant information for uh, new students. They are also published on the Pol International in English and the Pol Oriental in Italian. So about Piacenza campus, uh, we have two uh, big um, buildings, two big, big, two big parts in the campus. Uh, the, first, the one on the left is the, um, uh, comes from an old uh, slaughterhouse, while the one on the right is an old, uh, let's say, uh, important building. Concerning the campus uh, on the left, the big one, uh, we have a lot of pavilions. Sometimes I say by joking that it looks like Hogwarts, let's say, and people and students, they have a really a nice atmosphere. Many events are organized there and uh, there is the opportunity to leave uh, the campus uh, all the day and sometimes also in the night. Same also in the other building, it's a more classical building. Uh, of course, if you apply for Piacenza, you will fall of some courses here, some courses there. And uh, you see that a lot of activities take place there. I just show you some images very fast. I don't know, okay. Uh, they are coming from some events, sometimes also some visits. This is a bit, there are some pictures of the visit to Biennale di Venezia are organized. This is one of the best pictures we have on that. And of course, we have the uh, a laboratory for modeling where you can develop your models but university in Piacenza the campus in Piacenza is also strictly connected with the city and in fact it is connected with the urban hub for innovation where uh, the contents that you experience in the university can also have an output into and a feedback in the real world uh, every September, a uh, special summer school takes place where very important people are invited. You see Gregorio on the left and uh, many other people. Uh, of course, there are selections for that, but also people uh, who are not part in this workshop, they can attend. And last but not least, we re strongly recommend to apply for Piacenza for the beauty of the city itself, which is very amazing Italian cities in the middle of the Pianura Padana. And uh, you can break there uh, the feeling and the mood of Italy. Now we have some student testimonials uh, from Piacenza, thanks in advance to them, who will give you uh, some hints about their experience. Uh, unfortunately, Mila number two cannot be here today, but we have Lawrence from Germany as a first speaker. Then we have Kirill from Russia as a second speaker for us and Rahma, uh, number four from Pakistan. So please, Lawrence, uh, take the stage and tell us something about the topic you have decided to talk about, which is class and studio activities. You know that each of the students decided for talking about a topic which is relevant for their experience. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Lawrence and it's a pleasure to talk to you today. Um, I was born in Germany and I've been very fortunate to have an international education and uh, shortly after my graduation from high school um, I moved to the United Kingdom to study uh, chemical engineering and this has encouraged me to continue my studies and um, I'm now in my first year of architectural design here in Piacenza. So today I would like to talk to you about my experiences I've had um, studying architecture specifically on the campus of Piacenza. So um, as um, we have said, the university has its own two campuses here, uh, which I value a lot um, with respect to the social and educational benefits that we uh, students enjoy. So in my experience, it's, it is crucial for our students to have regular 
and easy access to professors to ask questions and as well to explore our own ideas when it comes to the studios and any sort of technical questions we might have related with other subjects. Um, and here at the Polytechnico, we are lucky because our classes, is, our classes are limited to uh, roughly 50 people, students, uh, which is a fraction of what I was used to in England. So um, it really uh, encourages and facilitates the process of interacting with uh, professors and tutors. Um, additionally, as uh, the Polytechnico is a technical school, I've been very grateful for the amount of emphasis that is placed on the technical aspect of architecture as well as the design. So being on campus um, allows you to have easy access to professors to ask any questions when it comes to um, technicalities of the building you're designing. Finally, I would like to tell you how easy it has been for me to settle here in Italy. Um, people around the city and on the campus have been incredibly kind and helpful with any sort of issues I've had. So um, thank you very much for your attention and it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Lawrence. Now the next speaker is Kirill. Hello, everyone. Do you hear me? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, my name is Kirill. Uh, I'm from Moscow, Russia, and I'd like to introduce you some of my experiences about living and studying in Pichenza and like a bit of comparison and the reason why I uh, chose Pichenza instead of Milano. Uh, it is obvious that Milano is much bigger than Pichenza, so you have uh, much more options to to spend your free time there, like cafes, museums, uh, etc. But uh, as for the Pichens, it is quite a diverse city, so you can easily find any places for your own taste. So to my mind, it's not a problem. But uh, anyway, you can easily travel to Milan by, by train because the train station is uh, in the city center and uh, mm, it will take you like uh, less than an hour. Uh, but uh, if we're talking about uh, choosing between Milano and Piacenza, uh, the, mm, uh, the priority for me was the quality of education because I was worrying that the quality is higher in Milano, but I realized that in this term, Piacenza campus and Milano campus in this is similar because we have uh, most of our professors are traveling from Milano to Piacenza to, uh, to have the classes with us. And uh, as far as I understand, we have the same uh, uh, program, teaching program. Um, so, uh, as you already heard, uh, we have uh, two campus buildings, we have uh, student facilities like uh, library, uh, study rooms, uh, computer classes, uh, even Wi-Fi. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the facilities are the same. And uh, the second reason for me was the mm, cost of living, because uh, as you already know, uh, Milano is uh, more costly, but uh, of course uh, it could be uh, like I had a trouble, uh, a bit of trouble uh, in searching the accommodation here uh, because the city is smaller, but anyway, uh, it is not a uh, big deal. You just uh, need to be prepared for everything. But uh, anyway, you can always ask for um, for professors, for student office, and uh, for the uh, students of subsequent years of studying uh, for the help. And uh, for my own experience, uh, all of these options works, and people around are were helpful if you have any trouble. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you, Kirill. Thank you, Kirill. 
At the I'll answer again, I will stress the point that the program is absolutely the same in Piacenza and in Milano and in Mantua because we have three campuses and the program is the same either in the Italian track and on the English track. So there are no differences and you can easily check this if you browse the website, I put the link in the chat and you look at the teaching prospectus and you compare the teaching prospectus in the three campuses and in the two languages, you see that it is absolutely the same program. This has been a wise choice at the beginning of the implementation of this program several years ago. Now, Rahma, take the stage, please. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Rahma. I'm from Pakistan. Uh, and I wanted to focus a little bit more on the social environment um, as well as the academic environment uh, here in Piacenza and just generally life living in Italy. So um, as my colleague mentioned before, our class is relatively smaller than what you would find in other universities, which I think has been very helpful in forming friendships, um, because I know it's the factor that people are often worried about when joining university, but it's been much uh, easier and faster to form friendships. And also architecture is a course where you do a lot of group work, so you're forced to interact with people and everyone is extremely kind and welcoming. And of course, this relates also to the fact that we're less people, that you get much more time with professors as well. And all the professors here, they know you by name and you can really, reviews last for much longer as well, um, as opposed to if you were in a bigger class. Um, and also just to talk a little bit about the Italian education system, um, it you can retake, which I something I didn't know before coming here, you can retake your exams multiple times uh, if you're not satisfied with your grade and it doesn't affect your grade at all. And I think that's, really wonderful in encouraging you to learn um, and really understand what you're learning as opposed to just getting a good grade and passing, which I think is something really special about studying in Italy. And also, um, now to speak about Piacenza City as well, uh, it is also, as mentioned before, a relatively smaller city, but it is so easy to familiarize yourself with it and it is a very welcoming city. So of course, when you move abroad, abroad to a foreign country, it's very difficult. But Vicenza has been so helpful um, in really, you really feel like you're part of the city really early on and it really eases your whole uh, process. Uh, and generally also it is a very budget friendly city as compared to, for example, Milan. Um, and so the money you save you know, on rent and just general daily activities, you can spend that money to travel very easily. So if you do want to go to Milan, it's only less than an hour train ride or just generally it's so easy to travel in Italy and I think studying architecture in Italy is also just very unique and I think one of the best places to study architecture because it's so rich in its history um, and yes and also sorry last thing the Italian uh, government is very generous in financial aid and scholarships as I read many people are asking about scholarships so it is I think definitely worth uh, coming here and I hope you guys consider applying to the campus. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your uh, presentation. I'm, uh, it is nice to know that you are happy for our government because normally Italian people, they are never <laughs> happy for the Italian government uh, procedures. Everyone I talk so. to here is very satisfied <laughs> with it. So. Yes, but we, we are trying to do this. Then, <laughs> then I would like to show another slide I have in my presentation, if possible, Carla. Okay. Uh, then, uh, okay, I need to show this slide just to give you the overall uh, number of places that you have. I think your case is to look at the second column in the prospectus, extra EU students, where you see how many places we deserve to you, uh, the category of students who are attending the seminar today. Concerning Piacenza, we have among the highest number of places available. We have 40 places available on the English track of the Piacenza course for the extra European U, uh, Union students. So uh, in the chat, I read a question about how students will be divided and split in the campuses. This is your decision. You decide what is your favorite place, your favorite campus when you uh, apply for uh, for the test. You have to apply to register for the test. And then you have several options. Last year, it was possible to give six options. But my recommendation will be, okay, please place Piacenza English as the first option and maybe Milano English as the second option. 
then the final uh, ranking will depend on your performance compared with the performance of all the other students participating in the test. We have two separate tests, one in Italian and one in English. The contents is the same, they take place in the same moment. Uh, but the ranking at the end, as it has been explained very well at the beginning of this uh, afternoon, uh, comes at the end of the evaluation. So my suggestion is please apply for Piacenza as your first choice. And if you want to be to have a second opportunity to stay uh, at our camp, at our university, you can choose Milano English as the second option. Maybe if you can also uh, speak Italian, you can also apply for Mantua or Milano or Piacenza Italian as a third, fourth, fifth choice. This is my recommendation. But today, of course, we are uh, endorsing Piacenza campus uh, since it is a really special place for us. It is a new campus and a lot of interesting events uh, take place there. Uh, I think I can stop here. I don't show the slides I have uh, prepared for about the test because the, it has been already uh, explained very well. Uh, by Alessandra and Francesca. About the admission test, maybe there is something interesting that I have to say, that we have organized two seminars uh, in order to train how to apply, how to answer the questions in the test. Uh, the, first the, virtual, the first virtual meeting will be tomorrow. It is dedicated for Italian students. And the second virtual meeting will be on June 16th maybe you have been already uh, mm, contacted by the offices from Politecnico di Milano about these meetings anyway we will have this meeting tomorrow and the day after tomorrow in the afternoon in order to try to look together to the typical questions that normally you find in the questionnaire when you have to uh, when you have to uh, face the test during the admission that's all and now if you have questions we can also answer other questions perfect thank you so so much for the presentation we do have lots of questions <laughs> so um I'm going to go through the ones that repeat the most or the most uh, important ones um, a lot of the students want to know if they have to get the visa before applying or they apply and then get the visa. How is that process? Uh, okay, I can answer. <laughs> um, no, in order to register in the admission test, uh, uh, you don't need uh, the visa. Obviously, uh, you have to complete the uh, pre-registration on uh, Universitali portal as, as soon as possible or before the end of July or immediately after uh, you receive uh, the result of the admission test because after that we have to confirm your uh, application uh, on uh, Universitali website and uh, also then you have to book an appointment with the Italian embassy or consulate uh, in order to submit uh, the request for visa. Perfect, thank you very much. And about the test, um, some students here are asking if there is like any guide or anything that they can study from. Okay, uh, students can find the uh, questionnaires and the relevant information how to prepare to the test on the poly... Um, on the uh, English uh, version of uh, yes, poly the international, website. But, but, yeah. Yes, but, but I was trying to remember the name yeah. of the Italian <laughs> one. Uh, that is uh, poly... Poly orientami. Poly, poly orientami, okay. I write in the chat, mm -hmm. poly orientami, it is Italian and all international it's english i'm writing in real time and i send you in real time so if you type these names on the web you can find uh, these websites and there is a web page inside this website uh, where you can see some samples of the test the former test uh, published uh, another possibility is to browse the 
the national website universally um, architect section i'm right in real time okay universally is the official national website of the ministry it was active until the test was national but from two years uh, ago on each university is organizing the test locally so you can find there the old test until 2019 from 2020 on you can refer to the two websites we have uh, um, recommended you poly international and poly oriental Perfect. And we also have these two seminars. Maybe there is still time to register for the online seminar that will take place tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, just in case you can uh, write to the offices to understand how to do for taking place in this test, this, the, the, in this seminar. This seminar is organized in two parts. First part is just a presentation to show you how to uh, put yourself in front of a computer when you have to uh, answer the question of the test and the second is some uh, real exercise that we will do together i will give you 1.5 minutes for each and then we discuss together mistakes and how to give right answers perfect thank you thank you very much um some students are asking about these sessions if they are 3 30 italy time yes awesome perfect italy time Thank you very much. Now, this is a question for the students that we have here with us today. Um, the attendees want to, want to know how was the cultural shock when you arrived to, to, poly, to Polytechnico? I don't know who wants to go first. Cultural shock? Wow. Yeah, for, I, I think, for I, I, Lawrence Ragmauer, Kirill. I, I think I hope that it is a positive shock because uh, the environment is very welcoming and people is always smiling. I don't know, maybe uh, better than me, Lawrence, Rahma and Kirill can tell us. They are smiling when I'm <laughs> saying this, so maybe, so don't worry. Italy is a place where you can never get lost. Of course, it will be over time, it will be uh, necessary maybe to survive it would be necessary to speak a little bit of Italian, but in the last years, almost all the people can understand English, basic English, uh, in order to give you the information you need uh, for the everyday little problems. But normally, you have just to ask. And then there are offices, and it is Politecnico di Milano, which is always your reference point uh, until you are here in Italy. Trust on us. So there is also a call center you can ca call uh, 24 hours uh, for any problem. And uh, there are chat box, there are a lot of channels for uh, solving problems. Then we have several committees. One of these is ma was mentioned in my presentation in order to take care of your relationship with your professors. So mm, I think there are not negative shock, I hope. We do our best, at least, to <laughs> welcome in best manners. On the other side, we, had, we have our students outgoing, going in other universities. So it is a reciprocal. Fortunately, university is a, mm, let's say, uh, a good oasis where everybody could uh, be only interested in learning. So normally, that's all. Awesome. Thank you so much, Professor. I don't know if Lawrence, Rachma, or Kirill wants to add anything. Oh, good? I agree with um, everything. Italian people are generally very welcoming. It does help if you know Italian, but people speak English also. So <laughs> okay, more or less. But we have to know that this doesn't mean that professors are not severe, because we are very severe with our students, because we want they learn. We offer them a lot, especially in the studios. You see that sometimes teachers, they don't look at, the, uh, at what time is it at the end of the class. If some students, they need assistance, they stay there, they spend their time. And they are normally available also um, online via email. So 
you are expected to be supported. That is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, I have here some students also asking if they can apply for the Italian program and the English program at the same time. Uh, I think no, because the test uh, takes place in the same day at the same time, so they have to decide. Perfect. Maybe there is the possibility to uh, to change, but I recommend to choose English. I definitely recommend to choose English because you have many opportunities, more opportunities on the English track than on the Italian track. Because although we have the highest number of places available on the Italian track, it is normally full because almost all the students apply for the Italian track. While the English gives you more opportunities, I think. Perfect. Thank you for that. Um, here, someone is asking if they need to submit any drawing portfolios or any no. extra material. No, no, no. We don't know. Uh, we, we don't need uh, these materials because you cannot pretend that you send us something uh, about what we have to teach you after the test. <laughs> so it is a contradiction. We cannot ask you something about architecture since we have to teach you architecture. And in fact, the test is organized in order to understand your propensity to uh, attend a university with some questions about uh, some specific parts, but it is not strongly related to architecture, of course, because the test is for students who have attended the secondary school and secondary school are normally not architectural school. So we consider this. Perfect. Thank you very much. I also see here lots of questions about the English um, tests. So I don't know if you can share with, with the students what are the English proficiency um, requirements again? Okay, for the English section, it is mandatory take during the admission test the English, sec the English sections. It, mm, you cannot skip it. Uh, if you want to register in a course teaching English, uh, uh, you have also to submit uh, or uh, one of uh, the English language certificate accept of Politecnico, or if you complete your uh, high school studies totally in English language, you don't need any other certification. What I don't remember, uh, Alessandra, if, mm -hmm. uh, is if we if students need to pass the level B2 or C1. I don't no, remember. No, uh, the minimum level is a B1. B1. So mm -hmm. I think it is, let's say, yeah. acceptable at the mm -hmm. end. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, here I also have a few questions about GPA. So is there any minimum GPA requirement? No. For the bachelor, no. Just for the admission and master of science, so we ask the GPA. Perfect. Um, when does the academic year start and how many time in advance do you recommend the students to start the application process? Okay, the, the academic year starts in the middle of September. And uh, obviously, uh, the registration process uh, uh, starts now in June for the admission test. And uh, the enrollment period uh, starts in the from 1st of August and based upon the ranking, uh, finish around the 20th of August, 26th. Yes, I confirm, and the students also, uh, uh, I think it mm, could be useful to uh, tell students that they can access their personal web page once they are enrolled at Politecnico di Milan, where they can find all the deadlines, all the information about mm -hmm. beginning and end. And uh, normally, uh, to be uh, from last year on, we are starting around 13 of September, just mid of September. Normally, we conclude uh, in December or uh, we conclude lectures in December or beginning of January. And then until February, we have exams. 
between February and March, we start with the second semester, and the second semester ends now. We, are, we concluded last week uh, the second semester, and we have exams until beginning of August. That's all. August is normally holiday, <laughs> we hope, and we start again in September. There are courses lasting one semester, but some studios in the first and in the second year, as it has been shown in the slides I offered you before, they are annual because we take care a lot of the architectural design practice and we know that it is something that needs time. That's why some architectural design studios, they last one year. It means that you have from September to June uh, working together with your group mates, with the professors and developing your projects. It's a very uh, lively atmosphere, let's say, very collaborative. We try to simulate the professional situation you have in an architectural design professional uh, office. Perfect. Thank you very, very much. Um, I hear, uh, I have here some some students that they started studying architecture in their home countries and they want to know if they can transfer to Politecnico. Yes, it is mandatory in any case to take the admission test and in the meantime they can ask the evaluation about previous university career. It is already open the application in the online services to submit the, eva the evaluation request and if they pass the test, uh, will be recognized uh, uh, on uh, the career here at the Polytechnical. Perfect. Thank you very much, Alessandra. Um, here, some students are asking if you are planning to have any info session for masters in architecture. We have the dedicated open day, so you can check. You can check on the Polini website which is, uh, this is the Italian version, but once you are on the Italian webpage, you can uh, switch on the English one. So this is the website uh, of Politecnico di Milano. You can go on the English webpage and you can take all the information about master courses, all the educational offers, because you know, Polytechnic is a huge uh, university, including not only architecture, master and bachelor courses in architecture, but also design and engineering. So you have a lot of courses. So I recommend you to browse, to consult this website, to have an idea what is the situation at Politecnico di Milano. And if you are interested in the master courses, uh, just to know what is your future, <laughs> you can also uh, check the programs, deadlines, and if you are really strongly interested, maybe you can also take part in the open days uh, of these master courses. Master courses last two years, and they come after the three years of the bachelor. This is the system we have in Italy, three plus two. There is Perfect. only architectural engineering, which takes place in LECA, which is a master program in five years, as it was long time ago in the Italian tradition, but it is the only course, and we are not talking about this today. It is mixing up architecture and engineering, but it doesn't concern our talk today. Perfect, thank you very, very much. Um, here, some students are asking if you provide any kind of guidance or help with the visa process. Mm, okay, on the, on the website, in the English version of the test, it is available the guide to uh, submit the pre-registration requests uh, on uh, University Italy website. And also in any case, uh, they can contact us uh, or by assistance request or by chat uh, and we provide uh, to, uh, to answer uh, to any questions or if they have some problem. Perfect. Thank you very much. And what about the students that are on their last year of high school but haven't graduated yet? Can they start the application process or do they have to wait until they graduate? I think it depends on when they are planning mm -hmm. to graduate. Mm. Because you can also pass the test without having your uh, high school diploma. But 
in the moment uh, that you have to uh, register for becoming a student in architecture, uh, you cannot have the high school diploma pending. So it depends on the times that... Of the graduation, yeah. Yeah, yes. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, I have here some questions about some person code or something like that for the website. Yeah. How can they get that? <laughs> okay. They have uh, okay. They have to enter on a um, Polymi website. It is uh, still available. Uh, the link online services, and then uh, there is the uh, registration section and register with the personal data information, name, surname, date of birth, uh, country, and complete. Uh, uh, the the different steps in order to register on uh, um, on the online services and at the end of the registration each candidate receive a personal code and a password in order to enter in their personal page. Perfect. Thank you very this much. This is the transcription polymy and then online services. Mm. Of course, this is not a link, but it's just to remind the name. Perfect. Um, okay, so I think those are the questions that I had. I don't know if there is anything else that you want to add or anything else that you would like to share. Maybe I can answer the last question to Magdalena. Uh, of course, if you are interested, you can uh, attend the seminar, the webinar tomorrow, and uh, then you decide whether to enroll in universities or not. These are just appointments to engage students, but after this, uh, students are totally free to decide what they want to do in the future. Perfect. Ah, oh, Natalia here is asking, how can I register in the open day? In the open day? For the master? Ah, okay. Or First of all, you have to go on polyorientami again, and you have to see if any open day of the master courses, I suppose this question is related to the master courses, are still uh, going on. I don't have the schedule of these open days because they have different days. We yes, have today we... our open day, but maybe Alessandra can tell yeah. us something. Uh, but about the open day for the master or for the bachelor? from the master i think okay for the master <laughs> other videos so um well at the moment we don't have a uh, scheduled uh, open days no but uh, i think there is the registration no okay they but... they have to register yes okay uh, information will be provided uh, in soon we don't ah, have okay. uh, any open days uh, at the moment but once we we will have the schedule we will provide you with information and publish everything on polyorientami website of course thank you uh, meanwhile i suggest interested students to uh, go on the websites of the master courses we uh, did a lot of efforts in order to publish uh, Mm, satisfactory websites in order to give the students the opportunity to understand what is going on in each uh, bachelor program, in each master program. Okay, I gave you the link of our bachelor program, but there are similar websites on each for each one of the for each of the master programs um, of the Politecnico di Milano. So if you are interested in sustainable architecture, for instance, which is also in Piacenza, let's say, you can go on that website, you can browse and you can see. So you can see the teaching prospectus, who are the teachers who can also download the programs. And in some cases, you can also see some drawings or models um, made by the students. So it is the best way. It's like entering the class. It's like entering the university uh, almost face to face. So this is my strong recommendation. The open day just try to summarize this contents and the program, similarly to what we did today. Awesome, thank you very much. I have here another question that is about the accommodation. 
So Alisa here wants to know how easy it is to get um, accommodation and if Politecnico helps um, with the process or, of finding the accommodation. Well, we, we have uh, an accommodation website uh, dedicated to uh, Milano and Lecco campus. And on the website related to Piacenza campus as well, uh, you find information on, the, on our halls of residence. Um, so we provide you with information uh, throughout our website. And if you have any questions, you can always uh, refer to us. Uh, so there are many um, possibilities of getting an accommodation. And I'm going to write you in the chat our, uh, our website, our Piacenza campus website. So you will find it. Piacenza. Olo dash Piacenza dot polimi dot it. So here you find information about our uh, Piacenza campus residences. Or if you if you are interested in a program um, in Milano or uh, in the other campus of Lecco, um, you need to refer to, to the Polimi website in the part for international students. Perfect. So here you have our website. Awesome, Francesca. Thank you, Thank you very very much. Um, I have here some questions about the seminars, um, about the exams that you will have it, um, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Where can they register for that or how will that work? Maybe so Marina was informed about this. Uh, I honestly, I don't so, know. Well, we will, we will provide you with the information on the okay. registration. So after, after this session, we will receive uh, your questions and your email address, and we will uh, invite you to, to the following webinars. Thank you, Francesca. Maybe for Thank them, you. the best seminar is that on uh, June 16, the day after Maybe. tomorrow, because it is the only one explained in English. Tomorrow we have the same seminar, but for Italian students, I don't think it's beneficial for the majority of them, at least. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think now from my side, those were all the questions. Um, does anyone wants to add anything? Any final thoughts, advice? All good? Maybe I let, permit me to uh, highlight the great uh, effort that Giulia Setti could give. She's in charge for uh, taking care of the, our bachelor program uh, at Piacenza campus. So I think she will be one of the relevant reference persons uh, once you will be students at Piacenza campus at Politecnico di Milano. So just this, I think is worth it to to do this. Th thank you. Thank you, Luigi. I, I don't have much to say. First of all, I would like to thank uh, uh, Rachma, Lawrence and Kirill for their kind uh, explanation. I think uh, better than me is their experience uh, uh, that gives the, the hints on uh, choosing the, the, the bachelor program in architectural design in Piacenza. And I, I wish uh, all good luck to the students who are planning to apply. And I really uh, would like to stress also what uh, Luigi said before and also the testimonial about the relationship between uh, the, the design experiences that you can get in the architectural school on many levels from uh, uh, the theoretical point of view to the more technical aspect that we are uh, teaching and we are pushing students to, uh, to work on that and also touching some of the new boundaries of the representation uh, skills that are more and more required when we are uh, you know, approaching to the to the architectural uh, working uh, experience so we uh, are working hard on giving as much as possible a broader but at the same time deeper uh, knowledge on different fields to be ready you know uh, at the end of the bachelor program to to go ahead in the master or to to work as well so thank you thank you to all 
Thank you very much, Julia, and thank you, everyone. Thank you very much for thank attending you. this webinar. Thanks for being there. Thanks for organizing, and thanks to all the thanks to all the people for supporting us in this afternoon, and especially to the students. Hmm? Let's yes. say thank you, Kirill. Thank you, Ramha, and thank you, Lawrence. Yes, thank you, guys. Thank you to thank all you. our presenters uh, for sharing with us all their experience and all this helpful information and thank you to all the attendees for sharing with us a little bit of their mornings afternoons depending on where you are in the world i hope that you really enjoyed the session and that you got all your questions solved if not please contact polytechnico i know that they will um um, reach to you uh, after this session and I hope to see you all in Italy very soon <laughs> thank you thank everyone you. thank you, you. bye thank you Ciao. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Ciao.